this is a big offseason for the Houston Texans because you want to make sure that you take that next step. You don't want to be the Jacksonville Jaguars of last year. So, with that in mind, we are putting together a list of things that we would like to see the Houston Texans address in free agency. Let's continue that countdown. Got Houston on my back because I love the city I'm from. Hands up if you feel that. Houston Texans free agency watch. Money does buy happiness when you give it away. 2024. Y'all know what time it is? Texans! Swarm! Hell yeah. So as I've said before, I don't think the Texans are going to do as much as you want them to do in free agency, mainly because they have important questions to answer about who they're bringing back. They have all that cap space. I would say right now, the guys that they can bring back, I definitely want Jonathan Grenard back, with the team in sacks this past season, Devin Singletary back. He does work in this system as a running back. I don't think you're going to have to pay him much. I would also like them to keep Kaimi Fairbairn and Cam Johnston, your kicker and punter. It gets a little bit trickier with Dalton Schultz, with Steven Nelson, with defensive tackle Sheldon Rankins, with defensive end Derek Barnett, with George Fant, with Noah Brown. There are, I think, some guys that... I, I'm, in with, I'm in with you for a few of those names. When you got into, you know, Stevie Nelson, who's like 31... Uh, Played well last year, though. I know, but... Short-term I, it, deal. Some of, the, some of the defense alignment, are, like you mentioned, like Barnett and uh, and uh, Sheldon Rankins are, are, are either 30 or approaching 30. I'm out on those. And I honestly, I view Dalton Schultz as... He's just Jake Ferguson, who is who ended up replacing him in Dallas. I don't see him as anything special to the market, but I definitely would you. like to see the Texans bring back Kaimi Fairbairn, uh, Cam Johnston, and uh, Jonathan Gennard as long as the the contract talks don't get out of out of control. Right. So I'm I'm on the same page for the most part with Schultz. I I, I don't know that you can do better, and, and you have yeah, to draft the guy. Let's see how let's That's see how the tricky. market reacts right. to him. But I wouldn't I wouldn't pay top price. I, I agree. I, I, he's probably the best case scenario looking at like another one or two year deal or something exactly. like that somewhere else. But list of things that I would like to see them address in free agency. We brought this up a couple of times. Center, safety, or a linebacker with coverage ability. We talked about Patrick Queen on a previous edition of Texans Free Agency Watch. We're probably out on him because he's not very good in coverage. Defensive lineman, and of course, it's the sexiest position. You want to splurge on something, like I like to splurge on my Hawaiian shirts. Wide receivers is a position where it would be fun to see them splurge on. Mike Evans, I'm in. T. Higgins, I'm in. Michael Thomas, I'm out. Now, at the Pro Bowl, there was a lot of flirting, perhaps tampering, being done by C.J. Stroud. Now, that touchdown pass that he threw to Jamar Chase was effing awesome. And I guess this was caught on a microphone because I was unable to find the audio of it anywhere. But Jamar Chase said, C.J., I know you want to come play with me, brother. Come on. And this was acknowledged by Jamar Chase on his own Twitter account after the Pro Bowl games were done where he said, LOL, I'm not leaving my dog Joe that easy. Y'all relax. But I don't know. And it led to some toxic discourse between Texans and Bengals fans about who's better, Joe Burrow or CJ Stroud. I know that the two went up against each other earlier in the year. I know that C.J. Stroud was the victor. I will say C.J. Stroud had a horrible interception in that game that almost gave the Bengals a chance to win that thing. Something you should keep in mind in that game because that was a bad, 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 probably his worst mistake of the year. But if I'm picking between these two right now, today, February 6, 2024, I would take Joe Burrow over C.J. Stroud. It's close, though. It's real close, though. At least, I mean, look, eh, no, it's not. It's not real close. No, uh, no I would like if I'm Jamar Chase, I wouldn't leave. You, you've already, you're already established in the system. But I'm talking just from a standpoint. If you're not a uh, like a, a true free agent, like obviously Jamar Chase is not a free agent. Mm-hmm. But let's say Mike Evans and or, or T Higgins, who's a free agent, I I consider it close if I'm deciding on who to play with. Long term, definitely everything's on the table. Right now. I have seen Joe Burrow win a playoff game with no help against teams that are better than him. I, I, you know, I, and I you can't forget in the game against the Texans, if uh, Tyler Boyd didn't make that drop in the end zone, exactly. Bengals win. Totally different story. So don't get me wrong. Like this is not a like the conversation that DJ Bienname and I had, where I'm saying Lamar Jackson sucks. I was like, no, we're talking about like three versus 
like five with Stroud versus Jackson. With and that's my point. I think it's close, like three versus five, like you said. Right, and with with Burrow, with Burrow, it's like two against three. Um, and I, I would say Burrow is two. I, I've seen Burrow win a game where it, he it was it was just him, and he's running for his life behind a crappy offensive line. And we're talking in the playoffs, and with, with Stroud. It really looked like he needed a little bit more help against that Ravens game. Again, we're we're talking we're talking about a two game sample size for Stroud, so maybe it's a little bit easier with Burrow to say like Burrow's had better moments, but Burrow has had better moments again, like Stroud's rookie year. So take that with a grain of salt. Uh, but there was some more recruiting potentially going on by C.J. Stroud during these Pro Bowl games, at least based off of the overly enthusiastic eyes of some on Houston Texans Twitter. Oh my God, CJ's throwing the ball to Keenan Allen? Fourth and game, he's throwing the ball to Keenan Allen? Is CJ Stroud recruiting Keenan Allen? Now, Keenan's in the middle of a four year contract and won't be a free agent until 2025, and you'd have to trade for him, but Keenan Allen, Texas? The Question mark? <laughs> no, no, no matter how, how high you raise your voice, there's no way. Look, Texas? I, I like Keenan Allen, but even if you did want to trade for him, he's about to be 32. Like, what are you trading? What are you doing? You have no business building this team for the long term, trading for a 32, 32-year-old wide receiver when you already have Nico and Tank. Okay, I, I will say, though, you know, in, in response to that comment. Is that ages, a retort, maybe? I, I do declare. Oh, God. Joy, when I look Paul's at— Paul's back. Well, when I, when I look at Mike Evans, Mike Evans is going to be 31 heading into this coming season, and you're going to give him a, a, a big long-term contract if you were to sign Mr. Evans. I do declare this may be a depreciating asset, as we do say down in my uh, uh, hometown of, of Medaluta, Buta, <laughs> South Carolina. I'm sorry, did you say Oompa Loompa? I don't know what I said. <laughs> I, I just was riffing. Uh, Stefan Diggs, Texans. So the Keenan Allen thing's not happening. Uh, they're not trading for a old wide receiver, as B-Max said. But Stefan Diggs, his cap hit for your 2024 is $30 million. Hey, no. Yeah. Uh, look, but hang uh, on, hang on, hang on. Hang okay, on. make your point, so, make your point. So, no, we're going we're gonna, to... This is CJ Stroud talking with Stefan Diggs' nephew at... The Pro Bowl. Bad habits from Stefan talking to Stefan Diggs' nephew who uh, dropped the pass to CJ Stroud through to him. It was a perfect pass. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Diggs, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work out for you in the NFL. Might have to call it a career at the age of eight. Uh, sorry, that, that sucks. It happens. Sometimes we learn hard lessons in life. But CJ Stroud saying Stephon Diggs has bad habits and perhaps saying it sarcastically, knowing that Stephon Diggs was behind him because Stephon Diggs is the epitome of diva wide receiver in the NFL in 2024, especially considering the fact they had a bunch of drops in big moments over the course of this year and specifically against the Kansas City Chiefs, that big drop down the right sideline. Is CJ Stroud perhaps doing a different version of recruiting, which is called a neg, He's neg. where he is by highlighting what Stefan Diggs doesn't do well instead of kissing his ass all the time, he is somehow making himself a little bit more attractive to Stefan Diggs. So, look, Stefan Diggs, he's going to get cut probably by the Bills this offseason. It's clearly not working out. Whether it's him and Sean McDermott, him and the Bills offensive coaching staff, or him and Josh Allen, something's up. They're going to cut him. I would be shocked if they don't. Maybe they'll trade even him as well. With, even with the dead cap, it's it's a massive cap hit. And honestly, I, I it, it's it's a bad situation for him. I get it, but I, I had this conversation with some other people. This was fantasy football related because they were wondering about his value in a dynasty league. But when you look at his 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 the amount of money that he has left, the amount of years he has left in the dead cap that creates, I don't see how they can get out of his contract okay. until at least next year, maybe even the year after. Whatever the case. Stephon Diggs as a potential free agent or someone that the Texans would trade for. I'm I am out on this. Oh, out. Even Huge though CJ Stroud Huge is out. probably recruiting him here. CJ Stroud is definitely recruiting him. He's doing it by negging. Okay? So give the man some credit. Sometimes you do it through relentless positivity. Sometimes you gotta do it by just You're speaking because negging's worked for you? No, I've I have i have never done that. You never you no, never I tried it? Should, I probably should try it, honestly. Like the, the Try it tonight. The kiss kissing ass and doe eyes uh routine. It does does not work. Does not work. 